Hi everyone. Welcome to another lecture from Fusion Law School. With this lecture, we start the module on IP management. In this lecture, we will first introduce you to the concept of IP management. Thereafter, we will also discuss as to why IP management is the need of the hour. I would like to start this lecture by a statement from Bill Gates in the year 2004 wherein he says I quote over the last 10 years it has become imperative for CEOs to have not just a general understanding of the intellectual property issues facing their business and their industry but to have a quite a refined expertise relating to those issues it is no longer simply the legal department's problem CEOs must now be able to formulate strategies that capitalize on and maximize the value of their company's intellectual property assets to drive growth, innovation and cooperative relationships with other companies." Unquote. Society is currently moving through a transition from a community whose wealth is based on tangible assets to a community whose true wealth lies in intangible forms of property. Intellectual property rights have become extremely important due to the changing trade environment which is characterized by global competition, short product cycle and high investments in research and development. Today, approximately 80% of the market capitalization of Fortune 100 companies is represented by intangible assets that is intellectual property rights. Therefore, in today's knowledge-based economy, there is an increasing need for effective management of intellectual property or intellectual property assets which gives one's business a competitive edge. This covers technical know-how, confidential information, copyright material, design work and trademarks and above all patents which is the key player of the technology-based firms. In order to manage intellectual property, the business enterprise must first identify and then prioritize its intellectual property based on its importance and the value attached to it for protecting intellectual properties a firm needs a system in place to do it in many research oriented organizations it is a common practice to have an invention disclosure forms or similar mechanisms for researchers to bring their innovations to the attention of the management This is important for the management to understand any innovation in progress and its value to determine how fit it is with the marketplace within which the business operates. After analyzing the innovation on the commercial benchmarks, the company may decide to patent the invention. The other innovations may be maintained as trade secrets. These may include minor incremental advances especially those whose nature cannot be identified by reverse engineering alternatively the firm may publish the information as a defensive strategy to prevent others from gaining patent in this area particularly if the innovation is breakthrough in nature and may give the firm considerable competitive advantage in its business activity in future Patent protection may be sought for inventions central to the core business of the organization. Patents are often used to protect a firm's platform technology and this may require licensing intellectual property developed by other organizations. It should also be considered that priorities of a company may change in future and so peripheral technology may be licensed to other companies. file early and file often such philosophy arises in part because in most countries of the world it is necessary to file a patent application the firm will need to determine in which countries patent protection should be sought for example core inventions can be protected in all the countries where the business has operations whereas peripheral innovations may be protected in only the firm's major markets issues such as size of the market whether or not manufacturing is taking place in a country whether copying is a real threat and issues regarding the ability of goods to cross borders in the trade blocks must be considered most importantly the patent portfolio must be revisited from time to time and the dead wood must be scrapped
it is not just expensive to get patents but it is also expensive to maintain them and there is no point in paying annuities to maintain patent which is not being exploited hence managing patent portfolio becomes critical for a firm's health the other forms of ip assets such as trademark copyright design etc are of equal importance to the business firm operating in a competitive business environment the firm should use ip to its best advantage this is possible with the effective and efficient management of firm's ip portfolio so why do we need ip management as discussed earlier intellectual property now constitutes a large proportion of many companies market value in the era of fierce competition intangible assets helps to gain sustainable competitive advantage over the competitors therefore managing ip has become imperative on the part of business organizations the reason for which can be classified into three categories first IP development is capital intensive. Second, IP development decisions are irreversible decisions. Third and last, most of the time legal protection of IP is not enough. Now let's discuss these reasons in more detail. Generation of returns from IP rights is a capital intensive and long term activity. For example, the cost of developing a molecule of a new drug costs an Indian pharmaceutical company a fortune of 40 million US dollars, while a US-based company will have to spend about 400 million US dollars for the same. In case of pharma products, the new product development and introduction process may take 10 to 15 years. Similarly, in other sectors like automobile, a new car design like Scorpio by Mahindra and Mahindra may require an Indian company to spend 350 crore rupees and spend 3 years to introduce it in the market from the product development stage. Therefore, if the creation is not guarded, the money and time spent may go down the drain. Now let's discuss the second reason which is decisions relating to IP development are mostly irreversible in nature. In the present context survival of a firm is largely dependent on its innovativeness in terms of new technology process or products. The competitive environment is forcing business organizations to develop new products and new technologies to survive in the market. the crucial decision to begin a project on ip development once started cannot be reversed the stoppage of activity will lead to loss of resources deployed and would result in negative return on investment decisions affecting ip are usually irreversible at low cost the third and last reason as to why do we need ip management is legal protection of ip most of the time is not enough ip management cannot be left to technology and legal department alone based on your ip the competitors may develop the allied products which may create barriers to your entry in the market just getting your ip assets registered most of the time is not enough for their proper enforcement and exploitation in today's competitive markets survival depends on differentiation differentiation may be in product process or procedure however these innovations or inventions need to be protected by evolving strategies the legal protection may not be enough so the companies have to evolve innovative marketing strategies for creating barriers to the competitors with this we would like to end this lecture in this lecture we gave you a brief introduction of ip management We also discuss as to why do companies need IP management. As always, if you have any doubts or queries about this lecture, please feel free to contact us on doubts at fusionlawschool.com. Thanks for watching this video lecture.